Hey there, fellow adventurers, welcome to our thrilling quest as we attempt to unravel the enigma of the lost city of Atlantis. We're going to journey through time, dissect scientific evidence, and ponder over various speculations demystify one of mankind's greatest mysteries. But hold on, before we plunge deep into the ocean of the unknown, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Your support enables us to unearth more secrets and bring more exciting stories your way. Now fasten your seatbelts and prepare for a captivating expedition into the theories surrounding the whereabouts of Atlantis. Could the secrets to its location lie hidden in age-old maps and artifacts? Let's find out. At number 10, we delve into the theory that ancient maps and artifacts might be the key to the lost city. This theory suggests that clues to the location of Atlantis could be found in the intricate details of maps and artifacts from cultures that existed long before us. For instance, the Piri race map, a pre-modern world map compiled in 1513, is said to depict parts of the world yet undiscovered in its time. Could it also hold clues to Atlantis? Moreover, ancient artifacts like the strange symbols found on the Phaistos disk, a mysterious clay disk from Minoan Crete, are believed by some to hold coded messages or maps to the lost city. While these theories are speculative, they provide a fascinating lens through which to view these historical treasures, could the secrets to Atlantis's location be hidden in plain sight on maps from antiquity? Coming in at number 9, let's explore the possibility of catastrophic natural events. Picture this. The bustling city of Atlantis, teeming with life and advanced civilization, swallowed in a single day and night by the unforgiving forces of nature. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? This theory draws its roots from Plato's account of Atlantis's disappearance. The great philosopher detailed a catastrophic event, a cataclysmic upheaval that saw Atlantis vanish beneath the waves. Could it have been a massive earthquake or perhaps a devastating tsunami? The seismic activity could have triggered a chain of events that eventually led to Atlantis sinking beneath the sea, but this theory raises more questions than it answers. If such a catastrophe did occur, where's the geological evidence? And why has no trace of Atlantis been found in regions known for seismic activity? The mystery deepens. Could Mother Nature's wrath have led to the city's demise? At number 8, we venture into the icy mystery of Antarctica. This theory takes us to the southernmost point on Earth where, beneath miles of ice, some believe the lost city of Atlantis may be hidden. Imagine, if you will, a time when this frozen desert was a lush, temperate paradise. A time when Atlantis might have thrived in the Antarctic Circle surrounded by abundant flora and diverse fauna. This theory is fueled by the belief that the Earth's crust may have shifted dramatically around 13,000 years ago, plunging the temperate land into the frigid polar zone. And so, Atlantis, with all its grandeur and glory, was encased in an icy tomb, hidden from the world. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? Could the frozen continent be concealing the lost city? As we delve deeper into the mysteries of Atlantis, each theory unfolds a new layer of intrigue. So, stay with us as we continue this exciting journey. Our seventh theory takes us to the sun-soaked mysteries of the Caribbean. Here, beneath the turquoise waves, lie enigmatic underwater structures like the Bimini Road. This peculiar formation, comprised of large, uniformly shaped stones, stretches half a mile beneath the sea and has been the subject of speculation for decades. Some theorists propose that these submerged stones are not a mere geological phenomenon, but rather, remnants of a sophisticated city from a bygone era. Could this be Atlantis? The evidence, they argue, is in the meticulous alignment and assembly of these stones, suggesting they were placed by intelligent beings. Moreover, several other underwater formations in the Caribbean have raised eyebrows, with their puzzling structures seeming to echo the grandeur of a lost civilization. These underwater mysteries, set amidst the beauty of the Caribbean, have led many to wonder. Could these sunken relics be pointing to Atlantis's former glory? At number 6 we delve into the realm of the extraterrestrial. As we dive deeper into the mysteries of Atlantis, we encounter theories that suggest this legendary civilization had access to advanced technology, possibly with help from beings from another world. Yes, you heard it right, extraterrestrial assistance. It's a theory that stirs our curiosity and teases our imagination. These theorists argue that the Atlanteans' architectural marvels, their advanced understanding of the cosmos, and their seemingly impossible technological prowess couldn't have been achieved by human hands alone, not in the time frame that history allows. They propose that extraterrestrial beings, advanced in knowledge and technology, might have lent a hand or rather a tentacle in the rise of Atlantis. 
This theory, while fascinating, raises more questions than it answers. Could extraterrestrial influences have played a part in Atlantis's advanced civilization? As always, the truth remains elusive, tucked away beneath the waves of time and the depths of our own imagination. Our fifth theory explores the possibility of Atlantis as a hub of advanced technology. This intriguing postulate suggests that the inhabitants of Atlantis were not just advanced for their time, but possessed knowledge and technology that surpasses even our modern understanding. Imagine a civilization thousands of years ago harnessing the power of crystals, or employing forms of energy currently unknown to us. Some theorists even suggest that Atlanteans might have had the ability to manipulate weather or control seismic activities. The tantalizing relics and descriptions left behind seem to indicate a level of technological sophistication that challenges our preconceptions about ancient civilizations. If such a society did exist, what happened? Why did their knowledge not permeate through history? Could it be that we are only just beginning to catch up with the technological advancements of this lost civilization? Could Atlantis have been a beacon of technological advancement lost to time? At number 4 we dive into the modern-day discoveries of submerged cities. As our exploration technology advances so does our ability to uncover secrets beneath the waves. Recent years have seen a surge in the discovery of cities that have sunk beneath the seas, from the ancient Alexandria in Egypt to the Lion City in China. These discoveries have sparked an intriguing question. Could any of these cities be the lost city of Atlantis? Many of these submerged cities show signs of advanced architecture and planning, reminiscent of the descriptions of Atlantis. The existence of these underwater ruins gives credence to the idea that a civilization as advanced as Atlantis could have existed and then been swallowed by the sea. These discoveries are tantalizing clues in our quest to unravel the mystery of Atlantis. Are these sunken ruins the remnants of the once majestic Atlantis? Entering the top three, we delve into theories involving time travel and parallel realities. This theory posits that Atlantis, rather than being physically lost, may be temporally or dimensionally misplaced. Imagine if you will, a city so advanced that it mastered the art of time travel, or even discovered a way to shift between parallel realities. If such were the case Atlantis might not have sunk or been destroyed, but instead, could have simply moved to a different point in time, or to an alternate universe. This would certainly explain why we've yet to find concrete evidence of its existence in our current reality or timeline. The concept is mind-boggling and may seem far-fetched, but it's an idea that continues to captivate the imagination of theorists around the world. Could Atlantis be a city lost in time or space? At the penultimate spot, we explore the cosmos with ancient astronomical alignments. The theory goes that the Atlanteans were not just advanced in technology, but were also sophisticated astronomers. Their understanding of celestial bodies and their influence was said to be unparalleled in the ancient world. Imagine a civilization with the capability to accurately predict solar and lunar eclipses, understand the concept of solstices and equinoxes, and perhaps even chart the movement of planets in our solar system. The Atlanteans didn't just look at the stars, they read them, used them, and perhaps even aligned their city with them. Some theorists suggest that Atlantis was positioned in harmony with certain star constellations or celestial events, a concept that's not entirely alien to us. After all, many ancient cultures from the Egyptians to the Mayans have shown a deep connection with the cosmos. Could the stars have guided the Atlanteans in ways we can only dream of? And finally, our top theory, Atlantis as a legendary golden age of human civilization. This theory posits that Atlantis wasn't just a city, but a symbol of an era where humanity reached unparalleled heights in wisdom, peace, and prosperity. A utopia where the arts, science, and spirituality coexisted in harmony, creating a society that was ahead of its time. This golden age was said to be rich in knowledge and understanding, a beacon of enlightenment that guided the world. However, as the theory goes, this era ended abruptly, swallowed by the sea and time, leaving behind only whispers of its grandeur in ancient texts and folklore. Could the legend of Atlantis be a metaphor for this golden age, a time when human civilization was at its peak, only to be lost in the annals of history? A poignant reminder of what we, as a species once achieved and could potentially regain? Could Atlantis have been a utopia, a golden age of civilization lost to time?